Good evening and welcome back to Prime of Midlife. Now this evening we have something different because this evening we are unboxing and looking at a new air fryer. I have been asked to do a review on this and that is not something I would normally do. Um, however, air fryers I use a lot and Mandy doesn't have an air fryer. And with what Mandy eats, I know she would use one a lot. So, th these nice people said I could have an air fryer to try out. So, I'm going to give Mandy a, my air fryer and I'm going to try out this one. So, please don't think this is something that happens very often. It doesn't. But, in the interests of being able to give Mandy an air fryer, I thought this would be well worth it. And the fact, as I say, that I use them a lot of the time. I really do like my air fryer. So I thought I would just let you see the unboxing so that you know that this is exactly what comes in the box because, you know, that's the sort of thing you want to know if someone's saying, oh look, this has got this. You want to actually know that that's what you've got. So this will probably be quite a long video because obviously you need to know things. So it's a... Ultimate slow cooker, uh, slow cooker, air fryer, and <laughs> I am obviously not very good at this. Ugh. That's the box. So let's see what we get in the box. Again, we'll cut this tape. Oh, and then put the pool. Pull. Is there a bit to pull there? It says pull. I shall pull. Okay. So, as you can see, big orange box. Ooh. I have bookies. What bookies do I have? We have recipes. We have customer support and such. I'll just pop that back there. We have a user manual and a user guide for the app. It seemingly has an app and everything. So that's my paperwork, which I will read before I do anything with it and we'll pop that in there i then have what i presume is the plate to go in the air fryer then we have foam stuff and protective stuff that's the plug okay <laughs> i don't quite know here's hoping the bag's strong Obviously, I knocked the camera at some point, so whenever I go back to, apologies. So, as you can see, we're just taking it out of the foam. And best not to throw things towards the camera. Sorry about that. There we go. Do not just pull the, the packaging up. Goodness gracious. Okay. Told you I was accident phone. There we go. So we have Don't fill with oil, clean with soft bristle. Don't open the top bit. And the bottom bit gets hot. So we have that. Very pretty. Oh. Again. Silly me. Right, so the drawer's been taped shut. So we'll undo the tape. See, exciting bits now. And that doesn't come out until you press the button, which is very cool. And there we have a lovely square tray thing. 
So, that's the basics. I'm off to go and read the instruction manuals. Welcome back for our first test of the air fryer. Now, it does say to make sure that it's not against a wall or anything, so we're putting it in the middle here. Now, these here are two steak and gravy pies. Now, anyone who eats these sort of pies will tell you it is a nightmare. You either have to put them in the oven so that the pastry gets crisp, or you put them in the microwave and it goes solid and horrible and yuck. So, I am very excited to try them in the air fryer, because air fryers are great for these things. We also, can you tell I went shopping with Kathleen? She likes waffle fries. Now, both of these are supposed to be 20 minutes in an air fryer. Now, what I'm going to do, I don't know if you can see that, this air fryer has, hang on, let me just bring that forward a bit, many settings, and you can just pick out what setting you want. Now, I want roughly, roughly says her, 20 minutes at 100, well, 10 minutes at 170, 180. So if I find, we've got pizza, which is 175 degrees for eight minutes. Now that sounds about right because I don't want the French fries at 20 minutes. So we're going to do pizza. So what we're going to do is we're going to open it up. We're going to put my two pies. Now what I have done with this is I have given it a rinse out in hot soapy water. And as you can see at the top, that's there's you can't press a button just now because I've opened up the the thing. So we're going to put these waffle fries in here. I have no idea what they're like. But seemingly they're kind of nice, so we'll they seem to stick together. We'll put a few of them in there and we'll see how we go. So And it goes, my little things come up, cross your fingers, pizza, go. Looks good to me. I'll see you in eight minutes. So the beeper has just gone off. It says end on the top here. So we're going to see what this looks like. It certainly seems to be good enough. Now, my test is basically, oh, did you hear that crunch? That's really good. Needs another, I would say another two minutes to finish heating up the, the pies, which are quite crispy anyway. So what I need to do is switch it back on. Got 180 degrees. for two minutes. Go. There we go, we'll be back in two minutes. And we've just beeped again, so there you see, we'll just, I mean, I love the fact that that's so crunchy, that is fabulous. That is hot enough. So, there we go, pie and waffle fries. Now, I'm going to enjoy dinner because it's like half past seven at night. Catch you later. Good morning. It is stupid o'clock in the morning, but I can't sleep, so I thought I would make Mandy and I lunch. Now, we both really enjoyed the roasted veggies that I did at the weekend. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try them in the new air fryer so that we can see how that works compared to the one that I'm used to. So again, we're just going to pull out the tray. Now this is just parsnips and carrots that I have. Um, I think I got the, the parsnips in Aldi yesterday because I went shopping with Kathleen and they were 30% reduced. <clears throat> so we just dip them in oil because we all know they take they're quite tough to cook these. Um, 
and it is literally just run them round and the same with the carrots now what I'm going to do this morning is I'm going to hit the vegetable button on this air fryer because if as you saw earlier it, it has digital buttons and controls and things so oh, got a bit of peel what I want to do is just hit the button that says vegetables and see if it comes out as well as the old air fryer because obviously what you're used to you always prefer what you're used to don't you and sometimes getting something new is like oh well I don't know it's not the same as my old one it's not supposed to be the same as your old one Karen it's supposed to be better so we will see um so yeah this is this is me just putting oil on the veggies while we fill up the plate here so we'll have that one because obviously you want to fill up the serving tray as much as you can because otherwise it's a waste now I seem to think that the vegetable setting has a shake bing bong so alarm thing it beeps at you to say take your stuff out and give it a shake like turn it over which may take me a while but you know I think one more I'll go for another carrot because it's skinnier so it's probably going to fit easier yep okay so that is our parsnips and carrots in the new air fryer so let me just move this over here so that you can see what we're doing so we're just going to pop that in bring it back to the middle switch it on now, as you can see, I've got the two options here. I can either do the degrees, but it has a vegetable button, the tree being broccoli. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch the vegetable button on and that gives me 150 degrees for 10 minutes. So let's see how we do. So the machine has just beeped at me. So we shall take it out to shake. Um, As you can see, things seem to be progressing nicely. We'll just make sure they're all even again. And back when it goes. And we're back. We have done 10 minutes at 150. Now, as you can see, these are not particularly ready. But in saying that, I didn't for one minute expect them to be because I normally do this at 180 for 12 minutes so what we're going to do is we're going to do 180 for eight minutes to see if that finishes them off so no shame to the air fryer that's just because i use the vegetables button but the vegetable button is obviously more for like green beans broccoli as opposed to parsnips and carrots which as we all know are pretty heavy duty veggies so we'll be back and we're back let's see how this oh we are liking that don't you think let me just see if i can there you go perfection so yep if i i think for the carrots and parsnips i need to just use my own timings but yeah i'm looking forward to that at lunchtime next potatoes now we have the baby potatoes same ones that i've used before um, I haven't washed the fryer because I think the little bit of oil that you can see in the potatoes gives them a good coating, helps them do the roasting thing. And what we're going to do is we're going to do the just exactly what I know, which is 180, and we do it for 10 minutes because they're small potatoes. 
Off we go. And we're back to see how the potatoes have gone. Oh, does that not just look fantastic? Look at that. Oh, exceedingly happy. So, yeah, potatoes. As you can see, I've got my toast and jam for my breakfast, so I'm going to go and put these on a plate with other veggies. And I will catch you later. Here we go again with the new Altenic air fryer. What we're doing tonight is one of my fast meals, which is one of the breaded chicken steaks that I got reduced um, in previous shopping. And this is just some simple McCain straight cut chips. So, yes, it's not healthy. Do I care? No, I'm starving. I was up at five o'clock this morning. So it is what it is. So, as you can see, we have some chips. We have the steak. Pop that in there. Now, I'm not even going to try the one touch with this one because I know it's 180 degrees for 15 minutes. And that's what I always use for that. So it's just going straight on. And I'll see you in 15 minutes. 15 minutes later, we have had the beeping. So let us see. Is that not perfection? I mean, really. Crispy chips, crispy chicken. Oh, happy bunny am I. And even good on the other side. So, as I say, this is done with no concern for healthy eating whatsoever. Because I was up at stupid o'clock this morning and I'm really, really hungry now. And I have to say that is part of the joys of an air fryer. Is that you literally can come in, make your cup of tea, feed the cat put the cat out, put the cat in, put the cat out, put the cat in, and by then your dinner's ready. And then that just goes back over there, and I am ready to eat. So, I will catch you later. Welcome back. I'm going to attempt banana fritters in the air fryer. I just thought that seemed like a good idea at the time. So, a very basic, be under no illusions, this is not a culinary expertise thing. A very basic recipe for batter is self-raising flour and water. So what we're going to do, just in the interests of, this is for bananas, is we've got self-raising flour. We're going to throw in some sugar to make it a sweet batter. And we're going to throw in some sweet cinnamon because I have some of that. Oh, that's possibly too much. Such is life. Da, 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 da. There we go. Now, to do this in the air fryer, you need to put it on parchment. So, press my wee button. As you can see, I have washed out the air fryer because it had savoury stuff in it. I have parchment paper. There we go. So what I don't want to do is have this too, hmm, too wet. So what we'll do is we'll just get a mug and we'll add a little bit of water. Okay, obviously I'm not very good at this. And that's going to need a bit more. Mm -mm. So we'll give this a little bit of a stir, get the flour into it, and then try and get the lumps out of it as you do. Goodness gracious, Karen, could you have made that any more lumpy? Really? Okay, so obviously when you do it like this, you get quite lumpy batter. That doesn't look too drippy. So, what we're going to do now, because we're clever, is I have banana, bits of banana. So we're just going to coat said banana in the batter. 
and then we're going to get a fork and pop it on the parchment paper. That seems like a good plan. So that's one. Two. Thankfully, I only have four of these. Two. Three. Now, as I say, I have no clue what I'm doing with this, but they say you can do fritters in the air fryer, supposedly, but the recipes I looked at were all posh, and I can't be bothered doing posh. And this is my oldest bit of banana that I have left. So, I'll just make sure it's well coated. There we go. I'll pop a little bit on that end there. There we go. Right, so what we're going to do, again, we're going to bring the air fryer forward, pop that in there. And I'm thinking I will probably need, we're going to go for five minutes at 180 degrees. Because as I say, I've got no clue what I'm doing. So, I'll see you in five minutes. Okay, that's the first five minutes open. Cross your fingers. Okay, as you can see, I mean, they're getting crispy. They need a bit more, so we're going to pop them in. And we're going to put them in for another three minutes, which gives me perfect time to get a cup of tea because you know if these work out I oh I forgot to start it goodness gracious me you know if this works I am going to put sugar over them put them in a bowl and go and eat them with a cup of tea I am so excited about this so fingers crossed see you in three minutes okay here I am again fingers crossed okay not sure what's going on but you know something I have to say I don't particularly care what my food looks like so that's the two that I took off earlier okay so not probably my best effort but I'll tell you how it tastes once it cools down because I'll just pop that down there if we go you know, the batter seems to be crispy. The bananas obviously are squishy. Uh, excuse me, Pooper, get yourself down off my thing. To everyone who hasn't met Raven, meet Raven the cat. Mm-hmm. No, get down off my kitchen. Come on. You're not getting my bananas. Get. Excuse me. I'm sorry, this is not normal. Get your butt off my kitchen surfaces thank you goodness gracious pooper okay i shall let them cool down and i shall go try them and let you know catch you later 